Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. We'd really like that, it helps us out a lot. Okay, let's get moving on this fantastic zucchini or courgette, kind of Greek style casserole or stew. Anyway, here we go. I've got some olive oil in this pan. It's on, warming up nicely. And there you go, I've got some sliced red onion. Feel free to use white if you prefer. I'm gonna go in now with some garlic. That's finely minced, that's like a nice teaspoon size there. Then I've got some potatoes chopped. I'm gonna get these in now because they take a little while to cook. Okay, then some bay leaf. Then I've got a little bit of dried thyme and a little bit of dried rosemary. If you've got fresh, go for it, you're a lucky person. While we're here, let's get a bit of salt in there. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit of black pepper. We can add a little bit more later, maybe. Now I've got some whole olives here, black ones I'm using, they've got their stone in. Let's get them in now. They'll release a little bit of flavor as well. Okay, so this is on a kind of, just above a simmer really. It's not, not a simmer, but not raging. Let's get a lid on this. Let's cook this for about five to six minutes, just so we soften these down and give these potatoes a nice head start. I'll see you then. Let's take a look inside now. Slowly cooking beautifully. You don't want to burn these onions. That's why a slow cook is much better. Always they'll get crispy and not where you want to be. The potatoes, as you can see, are softening nicely. Now, I'm gonna go in, I've got just a little bit of sweet bell pepper or capsicum. I've got a few mushrooms. And you can add any other vegetables to this you like. You can add things like carrots or other sort of root vegetables. You wanna put them in probably at the same time as the potatoes, so that they cook at the same rate. Okay, now for our courgette or our zucchini, which is the star of the show. Hence, there's quite a lot of it. In these go. They're quite a delicate vegetable courgettes or zucchini, so I don't want to cook the hell out of them because they'll just turn to a mush. A little bit like okra or something in the, you know, in the same sense. Or mushrooms even, mushrooms are fairly delicate. Let's give this a mix around. I'm going to turn the heat up now. Just need to cook this for about three to four minutes with the lid off. All we're doing here is getting some of our beautiful flavors in and around our zucchini and those other little veggies that we put in. So I'll be back in a few minutes where we continue. There we go, that was just sort of tossing these vegetables around to sort of grab some of that flavour. Very simply now, I'm going in with a tin of tomatoes, or a can of tomatoes. That's a regular sized can. But I've just chopped in the tin roughly. If you wanted, you could make a fresh tomato sauce. I just find it so much more convenient. Now, I'm not adding any tomato paste or puree. I don't want it to be a big, thick red ragu. That's not where I'm going with this one. Nice mix. I'm gonna get the lid on. Turning the heat back down to a real simmer now. And I'll be back in about seven or eight minutes. 
Okay, let me turn off the heat. And then we'll jump in and take a look. Yeah, this looks fantastic. I'm really happy with this. Still a little bit crunchy, those courgettes or zucchini. That's where I want them. I don't want them to a mush. I'm just going to finish this off now with some fresh dill. This will add a lovely little Mediterranean flavour to it. That's perfect. Check this out for salt and pepper. I've checked mine and it's fine. I'm really happy. I'm not a great salt lover to be honest, so you go in the direction you like. Let's just give this a little mix. This would be fantastic with some just plain rice, beautiful vegetarian and vegan dish even, which is great. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel where we have hundreds of different recipes from all around the world by many different chefs. Take care.